didn't call timeout. I'd play it out. 12 seconds left. Spread the floor. Up top with the ball. Off the dribble. We're going to get a three here. Long three. No good. Rebound. And another three. And it's good. Oh. Shot the three. Got the offensive rebound. Kicked it back out for the three. They hoist it up. And since it. Oh, my God. Oh, with two tenths of a second left, I got to see if it's good. He banked it in from like 50, 60 feet to tie the game. Let me see. It was a three-point lead, two tenths of a second left. Let's see if the shot is good. Tell me who shot it, guys. You have the sound on. I couldn't tell who shot it. Let's see if the shot is good or not. He he banked it in from, we got to see if he got the playoff, the ball. Now here, UConn takes the shot, misses. I mean, Cincinnati takes the shot, misses, kicks it out. They make a three, seven-tenths of a second left, eight-tenths of a second left when they inbound the ball. UConn inbounds the ball, and he just turns Oh, it was no good. I don't think he got it off. He did get it off. Well, I could wait. I need to see one more time because it's when the ball leaves his hand. When the ball leaves his hand, ball leaves his hand. He must have shot it fifty-five feet. Give me that long court look again. Is the is the light on before the ball leaves his hand? This would send it into a fourth overtime, and this would become one of the classic games ever. Who shot it? Tell me who shot it. I haven't seen another replay yet. Tell me who shot it. I got to see that. I, I need that long shot again to see if the, if, see if the light's on. Let's see. Now we're going to see. Here he comes. Wait. It's good. It's good. It, it, it balls out of his hands. It's in the air. That basket's going to count. He banked it in from about 60 feet. That'll be good. It'll send it into a fourth overtime. Who shot it? Give me the name. Jalen Adams. An unbelievable. So here's what happens. They're tied. Since he comes down, takes a three. Offensive rebound, kick out. They make the three. Connecticut inbounds with eight-tenths of a second left, takes it, flips it up a la Jerry West against the Knicks, 60, 60 feet away, banks it in. We go to a fourth overtime. The basket is good. Unbelievable. Uh, if that was the NCAA tournament game, it would be one of the great games of all time. They're going to a fourth overtime off a of make. He made a three. This is why you never give up. The kid catches it. Jalen Adams hoists it 60 feet, banks it in, and we go to a fourth overtime. Unbelievable. So UConn, with a miracle, an absolute miracle, ties it up from 60 feet with a two-handed bank that ties the game up. A three made, inbounds with eight-tenths of a second. Cincinnati's dancing. They don't realize eight-tenths of a second. And now he, they're hugging while he hoists it up. The Cincinnati's not even on the court. How bad was Cincinnati? They're over there celebrating while UConn's coming down with the ball. If somebody had been on the ball, it never would have happened. He got an he got a free shot because Cincinnati's hugging each other at midcourt. I mean, Cincinnati, could you play defense? I mean, Cincinnati didn't even play. They were hugging each other. The kid comes up and makes a 60-foot shot. Amazing. All right, here's the mink man. We go to four overtimes.